Oh snap, Blaze is going live. Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Hey, just in case you're joining my platform for the very first time, I am your host, the one they call Brian Glaze Gibbs. And what I do is I talk about the good, I talk about the bad, I talk about the ugly. This is my ministry. This is my hood ministry. How do I utilize different events that took place in my life or other life that I can make it a teachable moment, that I can share some insight to get somebody to see for themselves. See me, I am very vigil. So you can tell me something, but I got to see it for myself. Ah, that's the way it go. So once again, what I'm trying to do is hopefully getting the ones that's out there that's lost. That's a one step away from, you know, going through that wrong, I'm saying door. I'm trying to get them to understand that there's no shortcut in life. And like I say right now, that street life is overrated. Hey, today, what I'm going to talk about is this. I'm going to talk about, you know, Vlad TV. Um, He interviewing Layden, the Beast, Simon, you know, who was portrayed by Lamar on BMF. So right now is, if you look at that, Layden's supposed to be this guy, I guess from Detroit, you know, that came up with Big Meat and Southwest T. And they used to, he used to terrorize these guys. You know, right now was at one time they talked about, you know what, he could have been responsible for shooting, like I say, Southwest T in the eye. Um, also shooting meat, you know what I'm saying, 18 times. Folks, look at that. When you look at it right now, as, as I'm analyzing it and as I'm seeing it or whatever, because if you see the show or you hear some of the stories, this guy was a beast. He was dangerous. But then again, right now, as you sit back and you think about it, this dude was like 10, 12, what, years older than me in Southwest T. So what can you really expect? Even back then, when these guys getting off the porch, this man already was off the porch. He already seasoned. He already got a better, you know, saying mentality or attitude or a game plan how to fight fire with fire. So once again, when you take a grown man, I say, let's take the United States military. When you take the U.S. Army, Air Force, Marine, Navy, okay, specialty forces. When you take them, they're grown men. They're trained. And right now, imagine that's the team. The United States military, that's the team. Grown, trained men. And you put them against the Cub Scout. Or you put them against the Boy Scout. Okay, what chance... Is the Cub Scout or Boy Scout going to have against people that are professional trained, like the U.S. military? So that's how I look at that situation. I look at Layden, okay, the Beast, Simon, okay, Lamar. I look at him as basically, he's like the U.S. military, a grown man going against these kids. Because at that time, that's what they was. They was kids. How in the hell can Meech Terry, go against him, especially with his mindset and his mentality and all the life experience and some of the things that he'd been through. He looked at them as snotty nosed kid. So, but yet and still, if you look at the story and you listen to some of the things that happened, guess what? He was like a bully. You know what? He's no different than, like you say, what you got guys like preacher. What they used to do? They used to take advantage of the younger guys that's coming up. Before they can get where they need to be at in life, what they used to do. And, and, and like I say, none of that shit is right. None of that shit is wrong. But it's right now. Come on, man. You know, why in the hell are you taking advantage of kids? Or do you think you get points for that? You don't get no points for that, man. What type of points you can possibly do? And to me, everybody, like, you know, as you look at that situation or whatever. And I don't get me wrong. We all went through that. Especially if you want to be in that street life. You got people that's, you know, like, I remember being a kid. And I remember in my neighborhood, you got guys that was older than us that took advantage of us. You know, right now, was taking our guns, you know, beating us up, whatever. But as time went on, as time went on, just because somebody used to do certain thing to you when you was a kid, you know what? Me, Glaze at 14, then Glaze at 24, two totally different Glaze. So once again, yeah, these older guys could have took advantage of me back then, and they did. But once I became who I became, and they came at me like that then, guess what would happen? I know me. 
I know who I was and what I became and how sick I was. So to me, it wouldn't have been a fair factor. Yeah, when we was younger, yeah, I used to be afraid. I'm not afraid no more. So the same thing right now, the difference between meat and Southwest tea, they was in killers. They was hustlers. So a lot of times, as I saying, you cannot hustle with a gun in your hand. So once again, a lot of times right now is that's why they was able to have that longevity, that long run. You know, because once again, had they took on that attitude, well, guess what? Okay? Laden, the beast, I'm saying Simon, or uh, Lamar, what they want to call him. If they had put it together because they had enough money, they could have paid, get them out the way. But once again, these guys right now is, they wasn't thinking like that. And even right now, when you listen to BMF, or you listen to some of the stories, it's not bodies. You don't hear nothing about violence. Violent did happen, but it's probably people that was on the outskirt or people was associates of theirs. But you never hear directly coming back to BMF. BMF was known for what? Get money. Or what you say, huh? Get money. And they got plenty of money. So once again, and they stay away from that violence. They stay away from that negativity. That's why they was able to run as long as they was. So to me right now, it's like, you know, hey, shout out to the Vlad TV interview on with the guy, laid him, he out there telling his story or whatever. But then again, like I say to me, he should feel, he should be ashamed of himself. Why he should be ashamed of himself? Because right now it's like taking milk. By him going after Southwest T and meeting him and no guys, no kids, it's like him taking candy for a baby. And that's not fair. But then again, who to say life is fair? Nothing is fair in the street. So once again, right now is you don't get no sympathy in the street because right now the boogeyman, or, you know, saying these cats felt that you got something that they want. They're going to take full advantage of it. Knowing that right now is they don't plant the living fear in you that you're not going to do nothing about it. And that's why I say that's what the situation where as far as right now with them saying this guy, the beast right now was like I tell you, here it is. If it was a different situation, different circumstance, a different individual that he was dealing with, guess what, man? He would not be able to be going on Vlad TV talking the stuff that he's talking now because even at now. He's not giving these guys no credit. Call them B's. They are B-I-T-C-H. No, okay, B-I-T-C-H-E-S. Wow. So once again, he don't care how the world probably perceive BMF. He's going by how he feel about them. He feel right now, as far as his concern in their mind, they are still snotting those little kids that he had very little respect, of any respect at all, man. But like I say, folks, listen, man, what type of life that to live? Because once again, if they was in the industry, if they was law abiding citizen, they wouldn't have to deal with that in individual. Why? Because once again, guess what? That guy would stay in the street as they do their corporate American job. Hey, listen, folks, hit the like button, subscribe, share. Peace, love, and prosperity. One love. Big day, big day. Went ahead and got my book, Beyond Lucky, BGG, Brian Glaze Gibbs. Signed autograph copy means a lot to me for my brother. Day one support, love and prosperity. Right back to you, my boy, my G, my big homie, my brother. Let's get it. Made Media Mafia Magazine exclusive, Mafia Apparel, making the future in art, making a difference every day. Still here. Let's get it. Free Meach. Rest in peace, baby blue. What up, you hey. My name K2, you know what I'm saying, man? Young cat trying to get my life together, man. This right here, a lot of knowledge, man. Strong mind, I appreciate it. Have you checked your tire pressure today? I don't have a flat. Have you checked your blood pressure today? No, I don't feel sick.